Hi world, what up? So we all know the news, heartbreaking news, man. It's it's terrible. But with Clay Thompson, uh, it's been reported since of yesterday that Clay Thompson has suffered a season-ending Achilles tear on his right leg. Now we all know from the 2019 NBA Finals Game Six when the Warriors were down three-two and Clay Thompson was exploding as playoff Clay Game Six. Um, he tore his ACL on his left leg. He was out for the whole season for 2020. And everyone was expecting, like myself, you know, the Warriors are going to bounce back. This is going to be a revenge season. They're going to be top three in the Western Conference. I never expected them to win the championship in uh, in 2021, but I expected them to at least get the second round or conference finals and be that same team that they were in 2015 and 2016. But Klay Thompson's out for the remainder of the next season. And I don't know what happens to the rest of his career, man. This is not this is not a good look. This is, man, it feels like the uh, the Warriors sold their soul to the devil with the Kevin Durant thing because, man, they're taking so many L's and it's it's a serious injury, man. It's it's hard to see spending over a year recovering and then you have another drastic injury like this. This is terrible. Um, we all know the Warriors are not going to make the playoffs now. So that pretty much secures the Phoenix Suns to enter in and the New Orleans Pelicans to take the slots of the the Warriors, the Rockets, and the Thunder. So there's three open slots right now. The Rockets are most likely going to blow it up with the Russ and Harden. So I expect the uh, the Suns and the, the Pelicans to make those playoff slots now. Uh, man, this is terrible. It's crazy, man. I, I feel bad for you know the Warriors, Steph Curry, and the crew. Now, they did make a trade for Kelly Oubre after this horrific injury. So you're probably going to see a starting lineup of Clay Tom, or my bad, a starting lineup of Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre, Draymond Green, then James Wiseman. Still not bad, um, but you're over the tax limit. You're over, you know, you're the highest paying team of all time when it comes down to your, your, your players. So you're going to have to bring in veteran minimum type players. And I doubt those vets want to play with the Warriors. So it's probably going to be a bunch of young guys, um, you know, that's going to be on their bench, and I just don't see too much for them. And who knows when it comes down to it. So I, the Warriors, are I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, man. If they do, then it's going to be a seventh or eighth seed, but I don't know. But we'll see. We'll figure out on that. But uh, this pretty much kind of, not to jump the gun, but this confirms to me that the Lakers are winning the Western Conference. I mean, I've had them winning the championship either ways for 2021, but with the Warriors out again, I mean, who's ahead of them? Who, who's in the way? I mean, you have the Clippers. I mean, the Clippers have so much toxicity. I doubt it. Um, if you're the Lakers, the only team you have to worry about in the West is pretty much just the Clippers. That's it. But not really worry, worry. Um, and in the East, I expect either the Celtics or the Nets to come out. So let's take it step by step. Let's see if James Harden goes to the Nets. Let's see what happens with the Warriors in these free agency moves. Uh, terrible injury, but we'll cover more.